That's a question here for Claire Maths. Today we're going to do National 5 Maths, adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. Let's get straight into it and hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll have the full past paper questions on adding and subtracting algebraic fractions and also the full teaching for it as well. First, a word from our sponsor. Claire My Maths is sponsored by Lecky, the educational publisher for Scotland. Now, going from National 4 to National 5 Maths can be quite a difficult thing for a lot of pupils. That's why Lecky have got National 4 to National 5 Maths Bridging Skills Book. This revises everything from National 4 to help you prepare yourself for National 5. It's got questions on every topic, it's bright and colourful, and it has hints and tips and work solutions to everything as well. This is just £6.99 when you use the discount code Clever Maths. I highly recommend it if you are now moving on to National 5 Maths. Clever Maths at leckyscotland.co.uk. Link is in the description. Okay, before we get into the ideas for example, eight fractions, just a quick recap on how you add fractions. So I've got three sevenths plus a quarter. You need to make a common denominator. The quickest and easiest way to think about this is you times these together, and that gives me 28. Now, that's not always the case. Sometimes it you'll get, say, 4 and 8, you just change one of them. But you can always do it this way if you want. And then it's just this 1 times that 1, 3 times 4 is 12, plus this 1 times that 1, 1 times 7 is 7. So you get a nice little pattern there. 12 plus 7 is 19 over 28. And when you just check, can I simplify that? Well, no, I can't. So I'm done there. So getting into algebraic fractions, if you see... Ones like this where it's on a white background with grey writing. This comes from maths.scot, an excellent revision website. The link is down in my description if you want to check that website out. But express 3a over 4 plus 5a over 6 as a fraction in its simplest form. Now let's, let's just write this out. 3a over 4 plus 5a over 6. I'm going to show you both ways. The first way is to look for the smallest number that both of these go into. Now the smallest number that 4 and 6 go into is 12. So I write 12 and 12. And now I think about, well, this one's been times by 3. 3 4s is 12, so I do 3 3s is 9a. And this one's been times by 2. 2 6s is 12, so 2 5s is 10a. Adding the top together to get 19a over 12. But from my experience in this, I am aware that a lot of people will struggle to find the smallest number that 4 and 6 go into. So I'm going to give you an alternative method but you're going to have to simplify at the end. So if you do this method, what you're going to do is, like I did with the fraction one before, just times the bottom numbers together. So just think of it as one fraction, 24. And now it's just a cross. 3 times 6 is 18a. 5 times 4 is 20a. So you get a final answer of 20, 38a over 24, but that can be divided by top and bottom by 2. And that gets you back into this answer, 19a over 12. So if you're going to use that method, make sure you check for simplifying. Okay, express 3 over x minus 2x over 5 as a fraction in simplest form. Notice it says x doesn't equal 0. You can ignore this. It's telling you that simply because you can't divide by 0. But it doesn't matter in terms of how you do the question. So 3 over x minus 2x over 5. Now if you use my second method here, you'll see that that's a nice one to go for with because it works every time. To get the thing on the bottom, the denominator, the common one, you just times them together. x times 5 is 5x. So now the first fraction has been times by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. I've got a minus sign. 2x times x. Be very careful. That's 2x squared. Just check that you can't factorise the top to somehow simplify. That's what you now check if it gets more complicated. Can't factorise the top. Nothing goes into both 15 and 2x squared. So I'm done there, even though it doesn't look that great. Okay, 1 over x plus 2 plus 4 over x plus 3. So again, just thinking of these as little brackets around this so I can keep them together. To get my common denominator, I just times them. So big long line, x plus 2, x plus 3. And then to get your top, it's like a cross. 1 times that one. Well, that's 1 bracket x plus 3 plus... 4 times that one, so 4 bracket x plus 2, and then you expand and simplify your top. So I've got 1x plus 3, x plus 3, and 4 times x plus 2, that's 4x plus 8, all over x plus 2, x plus 3. x plus 2, x plus 3. If you need some help on expanding brackets, just check my previous videos on expanding brackets. And collecting like terms then, we've got x and 4x is 5x. 3 and 8 is 11, 
and the bottom is x plus 2, x plus 3, and I can't do anything with that, so I'm done there. Another one like that, 5 over x plus 1, minus 2 over x minus 3. So first step, just think of these as brackets around these terms, times and them together. No need to expand the bracket on the denominator, just keep it as x plus 1, x minus 3. So the first one's been times by 5, so I'll write 5, x minus 3. It was a takeaway, 2, x plus 1, and then we expand the simplifier top. And you can do that at the side if you have to, using a grid, or you can just do it 5 times x is 5x, 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. Watch your signs, minus 2 times x is minus 2x, minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 over x plus 1 x minus 3. Simplifying our top then, we've got 5x take away 2x, that's 3x, and we've got minus 15, minus 2, so that's minus 17, all over x plus 1x minus 3, and we're done there. x minus 2 over 3 minus x over 9, so I'll show you both ways to do this one. First one is Obviously, you can see that 3 goes into 9, and I say obviously, I can see it. If you can't, times them together. So if 3 goes into 9, our common denominator is 9. So I can just times that 1 by 3. And since I'm times in the whole top by 3, it's 3, oops, 3x minus 2 on the top. And I've still got minus x over 9. That gives me 3x minus 6. And then that's over 9, minus x over 9. So I've got 3x minus x is 2x minus 6 over 9. So 2x minus 6 over 9, you can simplify that even further slightly by factorising the top. 2 is a common factor, x minus 3 over 9. And the reason you do that is you might get a fraction you can simplify here. In this case, you don't. Let me show you the other method that we've been using all along, which you'll probably find easier personally. So the other method, I've got x minus 2 over 3 minus x over 9. Just times the numbers normal. 3 nines is 27. Brackets. This one times this one. 9x minus 2. Take away this one times this one. That's just 3x. Expanding the bracket, I get 9x. 9 twos is 18. Take away 3x. All over 27. 9 minus 3 is 6. 6x minus 18. But just don't forget at the end... I need to factorise and see if it's a common factor. So 6x minus 3, because 6 goes into x 6 times, 6 3 is 18, all over 27. And you should now be able to see, outside the bracket, I've got a 6 and a 27. So I can divide the top and bottom by 3, plus 3 goes into both of them. So simplifying that 6 27ths, 6 divided by 3 is 2, I've still got x minus 3, and 27 divided by 3 is 9. So I get 2 bracket x minus 3 over 9 in the same way. 4 over x squared minus x minus 2 over 3x. So again, I'm not going to bother thinking about common factors here. I think it will be easier for most of us just to do that. And if we just do that, we'll not make any mistakes. So that gives us x squared times 3x. 3x, I'll put times x squared and we'll work out the answer to that in a minute. 4 times 3x is 12x. Minus, think about brackets, x squared times x minus 2. So then we can expand our top. 12x minus x squared times x is x cubed. And then watch out, minus times a minus is a plus. So you get plus 2x squared. And then on the bottom we've got 3x times x squared, 3x cubed. Okay, looks a bit funky, but don't worry. Looking at the top, look for common factor. There's no number, but there is an algebraic common factor. X is in all of these. If you need help with factorising, look at my previous video. So take X out as a common factor. Then that gives me 12 minus X times X squared is X cubed plus 2 times X is X squared all over 3X cubed. So then X can cancel from the top and bottom. So I can take away 1x from here, and then that will become x squared. So we end up finally with 
12 minus x squared plus 2x all over 3x squared. And I suppose the final thing to do would be able to check if you can factorise the top, but I'm going to leave that one there. Maths 2014, paper 2, question 9. Express 7 over x plus 5 minus 3 over x as a fraction in its simplest form. So 7 over x plus 5 minus 3 over x brackets times. So you get bottom x times x plus 5. No need to expand that. 7 times x is 7x minus 3 x plus 5. So that gives me 7x on the top minus 3x minus 15 all over x x plus 5. 7 minus 3 is 4. 4x minus 15 over x x plus 5. Common factor on the top? No. So we're done. There's no simplification to do. SQA National 5 Maths 2016 Paper 2 Question 13. Express 3 over x minus 2 plus 5 over x plus 1 as a simple single fraction in simplest form. So we've got 3 over x minus 2 plus 5 over x plus 1 bracket 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 times x minus 2 x plus 1 3 times that one plus 5 times that one that gives me expand the brackets 3x plus 3 for the first one plus 5x watch out for the minus minus 10 over the same thing x minus 2x plus 1 click the terms 5x and 3x is 8x and then you've got 3 take away 10 so that's minus 7 watch out can't factorise the top, so there's no common factor, so we're done. In National 5 Maths 2017, paper 1, question 14, this was a specimen paper. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We've got simple single fraction in simplest form, brackets on both sides, times them together. So we've got x plus 2, x minus 4, 4 times this one, 4, x minus 4, take away 3, times that one, x plus 2. So we're setting it up. Now we try and expand the brackets. 4x, 4 fours is 16, so it's minus 16, minus 3x, 3 2s three is 6, minus 6, all over x plus 2, x minus 4. Collecting terms, 4x take away 3x is x, minus 16 minus 6 is minus 22, x plus 2x minus 4. SQA National 5 Maths 2017 Paper 1 Question 11. 3 over a squared minus 2 over a. A couple of ways you could go about this. You could make common denominator of a squared or you could just times it together and simplify it there. And I think a squared is probably easier here because you've got 3 over a squared minus 2 over a. If I just times this one by a and times a on the bottom, I'll get a squared straight away. So if you can see that, that would be the best way to go. I've got 2a over a squared, so I've now got a common denominator, so it's just 3 minus 2a on the top, and a squared on the bottom. And we're done there. Square National 5 Maths 2019, paper 2, question 15. Express 4 over x minus 2 plus 3 over x plus 5 as a single fraction in its simplest form. Again, the same idea then. Brackets times x minus 2, x plus 5, 4 times that one, 4x plus 5, minus 3 times that one, x minus 2. So expand the top, 4x plus 20 on the first one, and then minus 3x, and then plus 6. Be careful, a minus times a minus is a plus. Keep the bottom unexpanded, no reason to expand the bottom x minus 2 and x plus 5, collect your terms. 4x minus 3x is x, plus 20 plus 6 is plus 26, and we've got x minus 2, x plus 5. Next question, National 5 Maths, 23, paper 2, question 10. Express this as a single fraction in simplest form. Brackets, times, so you've got on the bottom, x, x minus 3, then your top, 7 times x is 7x, minus 
2 times this one, x minus 3. So that gives me 7x minus 2x plus 6. A minus times a minus is a plus. x, x minus 3. 7 minus 2 is 5x. I've got plus 6. And now I've got x, x minus 3 on the bottom. Can't factorise the top. So we're done there. Excavate National 5 Maths 2024, paper 2, question 12. On algebraic fractions, add these two algebraic fractions. So we've got 2 over x plus 5. And 3 over x minus 4. So brackets around that. Times them together. x plus 5, x minus 4. 2 times this one, 2x minus 4. Plus 3 times this one, x plus 5. Expand the brackets. 2x minus 8 on the top, plus 3x. 3 fives is 15. Leave the bottom one alone. x plus 5 and x minus 4. So we get 2x plus 3x is 5x. Minus 8 plus 15 is plus 7. 5x plus 7. x plus 5. x minus 4. And we're done there. This has been Claire Maths and today we've done algebraic fractions, added and subtraction for National 5 Maths. Every single question, past paper and lots of full teaching there. Take care, stay safe and goodbye.